Brooke, congratulations. A round of 64. Were you aware on the 17th tee that you were eight under par for the day? <laughs> yeah, you know, I had a great day going. Made a lot of birdies, and it was a lot of fun. felt like Britt and I were judging the wind really well and hitting great shots, uh, which is always great. And, you know, to finish it off with making a few putts was really nice. Do you get nervous? I know you've shot 64 a number of times before, but were you thinking, oh my gosh, I've got the chance to go really low here and get ooh, a little bit too nervous? Uh, no, you know, I love seeing my name near the top of the leaderboard and, you know, trying to chase down the leaders. I was trying to go low today and make something happen. So, you know, just trying to chase some birdies. You know, 17T wasn't nice to me yesterday, so I was trying to, you know, make a better shot there and was able to do that. So maybe that was the only tee shot that gave me a little nerves coming down the stretch. It was a fantastic round. You and your sister work really closely together. We noticed that on the golf course. She helps you line up, certainly on your putts. Uh, yeah, you know, she's always reading putts for me, uh, which is really helpful. And, you know, I, even tee shots and approach shots, you know, we're always talking through all the different factors and just trying to get her the right club and the right number. So, you know, I'm really grateful to have her by my side. Oh, I bet. And being out on the golf course for five hours at a time, you can't be concentrating all the time. What do you guys talk about? Uh, I don't even know, um, but it's just so nice to have somebody that knows you so well um, and you can kind of just talk about whatever and she also knows when not to say anything, which I think is really key. Okay, well, good luck this weekend. Well played. Awesome. Thank you. Third round in the Pure Silk Championship, first and second rounds in the Maya Classic, second round at Shanghai and now second round at Miramar. 64s for Brooke Henderson. Here's part of the reason why. This was for birdie at the sixth hole, having already started off in the best fashion with a birdie at one. Yeah, these four holes are really key for her today. It's just a, a few moments later, really, at the seventh tee, the par three, 138 yards today. And she convert that. And then at nine, more was to come. After just making a birdie at the short par four, eight or a par, I should say, that was a birdie at nine. Out in 32, things were looking good. And then at the par five, 12th, this uh, second shot, beautiful drive, setting up the opportunity. And not many people will go for that pin today, but Brooke Henderson did, and it answered with an eagle. More to follow at the 14th, up to about 10 feet left of the hole. Great tee shot for distance control. The putt wasn't bad either. And that took her to eight under par for the day. And as it turns out, that's where she stayed. Pars all the way in from there. 32 out, 32 home, 64 for Brooke.